Well, thank you very much for joining us, Mr. P Dr. Peter Roddick. Um, please t t tell me a little bit about yourself. You are you have a doctor in chemical, chemi in chemical chemistry, chemi medicinal chemist. Is that is that? Yes, that yes. I'm a medicinal chemist. So I did a PhD in organic chemistry. Okay. Oh, long time ago, <laughs> from in the, the mid '90s, I I graduated. You know. Um, yeah. So so I. Right after that, I went to manage a pharmaceutical lab, which was being set up in Jamaica. Okay. So, which, which is really why, you know, uh, I became a medicinal chemist uh, in that respect. I was a practicing medicinal chemist. Okay. So that ran for maybe about 12 years. Um, but then the company closed down and they, they took business like to Europe or something. Okay. Um, I stayed in Jamaica work with the, the, the chemistry department for a while, trying to develop some research projects. And then interestingly, I had a switch over into energy. So I went to, uh, was working for government for a while, uh, right. the, P the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica. Dominica, I, 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 Petrodam, yes, I saw right. it, yeah. yeah. Was heading up there, well, not Petrodam, PCJ, who is the head office, you know? Okay, all right, I got yeah. you. Yeah, okay. yeah the, the Petrodam is just for the petroleum, but. PCJ actually, actually was doing renewable energy. Right, right. And okay. so I headed, okay, yes, right. yeah, yeah. I headed up their renewable energy department okay. um, for a couple of years and then a special chemi special projects department. Right, right. Would well, that uh, have included solar and wind and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so my department put a lot of solar projects all over schools and also did a lot of projects where we changed out the lighting from okay. Um, you know, they, it's to LED from right, right on. Okay. David Master got a lot of money, and also um, looking at better ACs in an emergency room of hospitals right. and so on. So it was all around the island. No, well, this, um, this, this sounds people. interesting. I want to, I want to, I want to touch on this a little bit because this this brings up a, an interesting question: um, energy and energy efficiency. What, what? Because we, we know that we we pay outlandish rates in Jamaica, the energy, yes. the electricity rates, and so on. So where, what has, has been happening with the renewable energy programs? Um, and I, I know that solar, and I commend you, because I know that there uh, was some time ago, solar kind of came in and there was a big push for solar. And I suspect it has something to do with that. Um, but it's kind of dwindled. What's, what, what has happened with it since? And why is it not, why is, why is every rooftop not have a solar panel, at least for your water feature? I mean, the electricity costs are so high, it just makes sense. What, what, what has happened with that whole in, um, initiative or impetus? I don't know. Well, I mean, uh, electricity costs are driven largely by the, the cost of the imported oil because we're still, what do you call a fossil based industry? So, JPS is our largest supplier of um, provider of ele electricity. And they really burn oil. They, we buy oil, we burn oil to spin the, gen the turbines, right. which then send out electricity over the wires and so on. So, if oil price moves, then remember, you look at your 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 your, your electricity to be fuel price. Right, right, exactly. Um, so if that goes up, even if you're using the same amount, your bill will go go up all the time. Um, so the, the the government many years ago recognized that this couldn't continue, and um, you had to reduce, you know, uh, two things: reduce the consumption while not reducing the quality of life. So you are like, okay, I'm going to use the same amount of energy, but burning at less cost. Right, right on, okay, right on. Yeah, that's one thing. Um, and then there was also alternative sources of energy. So for example, there's like wind, and then there's like um, solar, because Jamaica is blessed with sun, yes. right? So it's, it's, it's a good place for solar. Um, wind, uh, industrial scale, we have the largest um, wind farm in the English speaking Caribbean, which is like Wigton Wind Farm. Okay, I've heard so, of it. Is it is it operational as yet? I, it, it, I know it is, you invested. Other people have invested on, on the stock market. There was some buzz about. Yeah, it's years. been operational for at least twenty years, if my memory serves me right. Is it? Um, it came out of the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica yeah. as well, and it had done so well that they actually, um, um, put it to market basically. Then. You know, right, so right. it's not by, by, by shareholders. Right, right. Um, okay. Yeah, so, but, and there are others as well. I mean, there are, now and then the government says, we want more electricity, more more renewable electricity. Right. So there's another wind farm somewhere near in St. Elizabeth, there, near, near to Wigton. 
um, that's also providing utility scale power, you know, it's for JPS who then sells it back to yeah, us. Back to the people. But then, then yeah. I mean, are, are these not bringing the cost down? Because what, what, what am I actually going to get? Like, I'm going to get to yeah. the whole drug thing and bring this back to cannabis. I'm just trying to think is because one thing we all know what the cannabis is, you know, it's, it's a new industry. It's now opening up in yeah. Jamaica and so on and so forth. Um, and one thing that's, that's, that differentiates, I guess, other markets from Jamaica is, is the ability to, to produce indoor grows, basically. Not that you would completely want to Jamaica, but again, there are things where you cover the trees of medicinal grade cannabis, you want to control the environment. But just the mere, and we have the Jamaican branding, but the, the mere, just the notion of an indoor greenhouse is just, is, or an indoor grow, grow operation is, is just, it's yeah. just uh, impractical because of the electricity cost, only because of that. And we're at the highest level yeah. of electricity cost in the world. I mean, can that yeah. can we not bring these things down? So then we can then bring manufacturing things back to Jamaica. Who wants to be processing cannabis oils at these at these exorbitant rates? By the time you get it to, to North America, your your price points you know higher than there than they're, they're they're starting for it. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's very difficult to com compete. No, I, I, we, we've lost a lot of industries because of the same thing. You know, because the manufacturing costs are just so high. I mean, many have run off to Trinidad who have their own oil, and right, so yes. their oil prices no. Um, what is that? I mean, that yeah, many large companies, you know, are coming off the electricity grid, you know, so you think of somewhere like a Grand Palladium Hotel that did their own solar. Um, okay. They're completely did, solar? You know, some of the box I, yeah. I'm not sure, but majorly so. They did a right. major project maybe about right. four years ago. Okay. You know, and, and then there are places like a lot of the bauxite companies that are also major user, users of energy. Right. A lot of them are doing their own generation <laughs> and leaving JPS. It just means that we that remain pay more. I was about to say that that, that scales it back and now they've got more. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So my suggestion is, um, <laughs> my suggestion for people who want to get in the industry and reduce energy costs is that they, they go solar. Um, they reduce the energy footprints by using, you know, more economical bulbs or refrigeration or whatever. But solar, yeah, because um, the, the price of solar electricity, the, the infrastructure is, is coming down. Yeah, know, that has uh, always been, traditionally, that has always been the cost. It's the batteries yeah. and the storage capacity. And so yeah, on. yeah. Works. Those things are coming down as, right, yeah. you know, the technology gets better, um, as, you know, it's, you know, the mass production increases. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let, let's, let's, all right, let, let me get back to your story. Dog. I just have to <laughs> jump in and get back to that. So, all right, so, you, so ke chemical, chemical, medicinal chemistry, organic chemistry, yes. um, down to PCJ energy. And, um, and then, and, and, and where did it go from there? And then somewhere, somewhere within there came. Yeah. So uh, I've, I've done some teaching within the, the, the um, there's a program that a university has what they call a doctorate of pharmacy program, right. okay. where it's, it's maybe about four or five years old and they have various components um, and there's a medicinal chemistry component. So right now I'm involved in teaching that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so um, I'm just in the middle of preparing my, myself again for September. Right, which is not too far stuff. away. <laughs> Right, no, okay. no, I gotta go. Gotta put on the full full outfits now. You gotta cover the bottom <laughs> as well and everything. I got yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So um, that's 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 where I am. Now. So back almost back to where I started, which is in the um, the teaching academic space. All right. Well then, and let's and let's touch on what you. I I, I reached out to you because you you did an article. I had an article in the Gleaner yeah. on the recent ban by um, Shikari, of Shikari Robinson, the um, yes. you know, young American athlete um, sprinter who was, yes. was to ban, ban, banned for a few days um, from the Olympics and then subsequently was, uh, um, was no, well, is no longer running in the, in the 4 by 100 meter, which was another staple race of hers. Um, what, what, for, what compelled you to write that article? Let me start there. Um, well, <laughs> as a scientist, sometimes, you take an understanding for granted, wherein you might understand the details of something because your background of study, and you realize that not everybody really understands it the way it should be, and so it's 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 an it's the desire to bring a deeper meaning to you know 
what this means when they speak about uh, substance, a drug, what do they actually mean? Um, what do the water rules say about this in particular? You know, the, the World Anti-Doping Agency. And uh, so it's really that. And I, and I had my particular interest in drugs and sports because I was involved um, from 2009. I, I did two other cases. One, um, there was Racist Track Club, where a couple of athletes, four athletes from Racist Club were, they said they found a substance within their, their, their urine. Right. And it involved people like Johan Blake and, right. you know, yeah. Aladdin Fothergill, you know, so. So uh, I was called into that and I, I, I did a case and found it very interesting. And of course, on the record, I thought they were being unfair to the athletes. Okay. Because the substance was not even on the ban list, but it resembled something. So, okay, right. I think I'm um, after that case, I was involved in something else with another Olympian, and so I've always had that interest. And I and I, I wrote a couple of articles then on it, and the response was, you know, okay, we appreciate the clarity. Um, you know, you didn't have to just swallow what Walter said; you could actually push back and says, we do not agree, or this is our explanation. Right. So it's it's almost like helping to to, to clarify to, to you know to, to bring some perspective as, on as, it. And so, okay. That's so what, what really drew me. Right. To, right. And so I mean, so, so what 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 have you found within within the, the world doping? Yeah, the anti-doping agency. Yeah, yeah. The, the world the world anti-doping agency. They're, they're the thing passing. Yeah, within like the world anti-doping agency, they have the rules, which is a relatively new um, entity as well. Um, what their 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 purpose is to prevent the to prevent the use of of uh, performance enhancing drugs and yeah. drugs that can be damaging to the athletes themselves or to others around yeah. them. Um, right. So so why would cannabis fall under this list? I think cannabis um, for a couple of reasons. One, cannabis does contain substances which are psychoactive, right? Right. Meaning that if you you know. It, it does impact how the way you feel Correct. Yeah, when, you, when you smoke marijuana, you know? We're not saying whether it's good or bad, it just impacts the way you feel. And uh, it, it has suffered in some cases from it being labeled an illegal substance. Um, and so when you get to illegal substance, then whether it is good or bad, nobody really cares because John Public has said it's illegal. It's illegal, okay. And so if an athlete engages in, in cannabis consumption, then they are not seen as a role model, you know? Um, and so that is one issue with, with what is always going to have. You, know, you have to be a role model. You have to be, you know, you can't be seen to violate in the spirit of sport and some sort of more nebulous terms. Right. right. Um, the psychoactive substance in there though, I mean, um, you know, they, 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 cannabinoids like THC and, and, and so on. Uh, it is said that some of these substances alter the way you think. They might make you faster, they might make you slower. They make you, make you want to feel um, like you want to take more risks. Um, that, that's, that's, that, that is what one of the things that, well, I think you, you yeah. pointed out three of the points. And one of the things is yeah. that, well, it, it, in, in no uncertain, not exactly the same terms, but you know, one of the, one of the reasons it will make people feel less, um, less, like basically less scared to be in competition and more yes, relaxed yes, competition, yes. and that will give them an unfair yes, advantage. Yes. And I'm like, but that, yes. that, that doesn't make. I mean, your 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 mother singing your lullaby can put you in a very sedate, <laughs> you know, relaxed position and make you really compete. Right, 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 right. And you, your, your mothers are now exempt from being around you for the. It's it's. I, I just I'm just trying to again it's 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 it's, 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 seemingly, it's much more of a moral argument. I mean I'm, I I I was, I was going to try to push back, but again if you come with the whole moral thing, it was because it was illegal and the role model thing, and people are going to think. And it's like, well, yeah. you know, that depends on whose family you're talking to. You know what I mean? Whose child you're talking? Oh, to. Oh, indeed, indeed, indeed. So, you know. And in fact, um, I think though, once it becomes a, a substance, you know, I mean, for example, we can always use things to calm ourselves. You know, whether it's music, whether it's meditation. I think when it comes to a substance, you know, that you can put into your body, you know, then you start getting into a gray area. Uh, so, so far, so for example, some people like uh, Usain Bolt, for example, would say he doesn't even take supplements because right. supplements can contain anything. And once 
what are the deems it as, oh, it affects your performance in one way or the other. And it could be negative, you know, they're just saying, this is going to harm you, so we're not advocating it, stop taking it. Um, once it gets into that realm, then um, you start having a challenge with, 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 with substances in and of themselves, um, as opposed to something which is not a substance, you know, which can calm you down. Right. I know, for example, in some sports, for example, like archery or shooting, where you have to have really steady nerves, right. um, they ban certain um, pills, you know, something which may be anti anxiety medication. You know, <laughs> like ganja, or basically oh, they no, ban ganja. No, 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 you're going to be too calm. <laughs> You have that's to be like, naturally calm, you know. <laughs> so, that doesn't, but if, but again, I, that's that's such an interesting argument because how can yeah. you, how can if you're calm, then you're just, you're more into yourself. That's really what you are. You just it's just like yeah, there's less yeah, of the ego yeah. and less of the outside world bugging. You really, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting yeah. that they would they would. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, then if they would they should just allow it, but allow it across the board. Then it's your choice. You want that? Do you want yeah. it or not? It shouldn't be. It, it's not a performance enhance. I don't think yeah, it's not, yeah. not going to change change how you perform per se. I, that's yeah. that's a very. But you know, some people. I mean, if if, if I if I look at one of the differences between, for example, an asafa and a bolt is that bolt was always naturally relaxed. You know, right, okay. didn't get anxious about it. Well, he didn't show anxiety right. when a race came. So some people say he was so relaxed he could perform at his best. But somebody like an Asafa would get really more seemingly anxious right, right. and perform at his best. That's because he had, he had to run against Bolt. I mean, come on. <laughs> Anybody would be nervous. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's like, my job depends on if I could beat him. I say, like, well, damn, yeah, I'm going to be nervous. Come on. I need to pass his man Yeah. I mean, you know? Do something. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 you see, and this is why you have the discussion on both sides, because um, some will say, if you are going to, can take something to make you be your best self. Right. And why not? You know, if I can take something which calms my nerves and I'm then become the best um, you know, shooter in the world or the best archer, or, why not? You know, um, but it's, it's never going to be as clear cut as that because it, the, the argument is that, you know, you come as you are, I come as I am, and then may the best man win. No enhancement, you know. Um, uh, if, if you think back way back to the case of somebody like, uh, uh, let's say, Ben Johnson. Right, right, yeah. Uh, now, not, Ben Johnson true. would say, look here, I am going to take this particular compound because it's going to build my muscles, it's going to let me train harder, longer, stronger. And, you know, the argument might be, so what's wrong with that? Um, but in the end, you know, he was stripped of his medal because you're like, this substance is banned. I don't care who is doing it. You are the one who's caught. Um, and, uh, you know, it it's enhances your performance unfairly. Right. right. Um, it's also damaging. I, it's, not, it's not like to say that all the athletes could also take it and it would not be damaging and they would then have that same level of of um, yeah. of performance if they still opt to do so. I mean, again, it's, it's the, you know yeah. people have get heart attacks from from taking steroids. It's yeah. different, yeah. different, yeah. different than having cannabis. And I've been mean, yeah. and I just to bring it and to bring it back to the to the Sakari Robinson case. Um, yeah. Because the the, well, the, the of course with the, the whole the, the whole issue for these banned substances is they don't want performance enhancing drugs. Um, Miss Robinson took it. She it was not like pre competition. It was not for the competition. It, was, it wasn't even as a performance it had to for the competition. Um, is there right. no differentiator in that? Do you know of anything? Is there no way that they can differentiate? I mean, it doesn't. It's it's it, again because it it sounds somewhat of a moral 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 decision. So yeah. at the same time, there's there should be a moral sway to the other side as well. Like, yeah, yeah. About that? No, know. cannabis in, in particular is one that. I mean, steroids don't get a lot of argument. I mean, people might like, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're you know, no way. But something like cannabis, um, because it seemed like there's so many good properties to it. Um, so many people benefit from it. Um, but it still does have that stigma. Right. right, right. That it's a gateway drug. It's, you know, psychoactive. It, you know, it, you know it, it impacts how you think or you feel in a negative way. There are many 
stereotypes. I mean, nowadays, you know, people are starting to see more of the beneficial side. Um, it was interesting to me, for example, to see that smoking marijuana, unlike tobacco, um, has a much less or negligible incidence of, for example, like cancer of the head and neck and, and yes. so on. Yes, yes, it does. That's, that's sort of fascinating to me to, to, to it, see. In, in fact, there, there's even, there are even studies that suggest to say that it can even reverse damages done by yeah, yeah. and so on and so forth. So I smoke both. <laughs> Anyways, that's, yeah. That's, 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 right. I'm, yeah, but I do. But anyway, yeah, that's, 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 yeah. that's very interesting, you know? That's very interesting. Um, but I think, uh, well, I think I missed my train of thought a while ago, going off on that segue about, <laughs> about cannabis <laughs> and, <laughs> and its impact. Uh, just take me back. Just take me back to the, to the question again, please, because I just sort of where where was I? I don't I I I I, I don't, where where were we? Um. Oh yes, no, we're, we're just talking about the the bad the, the moral suasion, the moral the moral yeah, the moral suasion, moral, yeah. the moral argument, right? Um. I I, I think with, with with cannabis, um, it has suffered from yeah. We were talking about the good and the bad. Um, Shakar in particular. Um, took it out of competition because of what happened with her mom. Um, the unfortunate thing with, with, with marijuana is, is that it's the, the compounds within it tend to be dissolved in like in the, the fat tissue of your body, right? Right, right, right? And so they take a long time to come out. Um, so you can right. smoke out of competition and in competition, it's still in your body. Like 30 days later. I'll and be- Yeah, and, and they don't care when they just want to know that it's above a it's certain there. level right okay yeah it's there they don't care if you did it yesterday two years ago they're just like this is above the level right. and i suspect that is what happened to her that the level of the thc metabolite was just too too great right. um in your body and and then for you know and so she ended up being banned um I, I I have mixed feelings about it because a lot of these drugs are compounds. Um, like in marijuana, it's not necessarily hard and fast to say, you know, it's it's a good thing or a bad thing. And but but it can have severe consequences, you know, if you if you if you are found in violation. I think as a professional athlete that you have to be so careful. Because there's so much at stake. Right. So, right. yeah. So I'm saying, you know, even if you're tempted, I think you should just say, hey, you know, I don't want to lose my medal. I don't want to lose my she's, she's gonna get, a, she's gonna get a lot of sponsorships and endorsements very soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah she's gonna, she's it, not gonna be short of money very, very soon. I promise you that. Like, yeah. they're, they're, they're gonna throw the support way behind her. Trust me, yeah. a lot, a lot of people are gonna throw that. But it's but it's 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 unfortunate and it's important. But and I say and the whole argument as well is that it is it's also a legal substance. It's legal where she was she was smoking it, so it's not she was consuming. It. I don't know if she smoked it. She was consuming it. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's you know yeah. there's 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 so much that's well obviously I'm I'm you know vehemently opposed to it. <laughs> You're like you're like ah you know I don't say I, I mean yeah I do rightfully say I mean it it it's it, it's it's banned you know whatever there are rules. If you want to compete, you 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 buy yeah. It. And 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 as an as an as an athlete, um, you know, you your your participation is not is not localized. It's, it's a mother, man. It's a mother. That's that's that only happens once in a lifetime. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know, I mean. I mean, I guess she probably has to be like a bolt who just say, look, yeah, I'm just gonna have like you know nuggets and and and, and you know because I'm I'm so scared. Um. Because and, and the more popular you are, you know, the more successful you are, the more the more they test you. And they test yeah. you and they test you and they Yeah, how often do you think they would you. test somebody like Bose? Like every time you step out of the bathroom. Oh, I, <laughs> I, yeah. I, well, I don't know the exact statistics, you know, but um maybe after every meet, yeah, and then sometimes out of competition, uh, you know, they just said they have a whereabouts rule, you know, there's pop out at, up, pop up at your house. Yeah. And you have to be ready. And if you miss too much of those whereabouts thing, where does pop up? Then they say you're trying to hide something. Oh, please tell me about this whereabouts rule. What's the whereabouts rule? <laughs> I have not what is this now? Please enlighten me. Yeah, yeah. And it's one way they just pop up. Let, let me don't quote me on the exact. Um, 
exactly how it works. But I know it's usually like, like you know, it's out of competition. It seems like they can come almost any time to your to, to where you're supposed to find you on something like three occasions, I think. Okay. Then they can say you are trying to avoid us. Yes, you didn't tell us where you're going to be. Okay. And then you know we can actually find you as if you are actually um, we're actually taking a drug. And in fact, it happened to one of the, one of these American sprinters like last year. He was very annoyed, but he, so it starts to look suspicious. Like, okay, so every time these people come to check you, you are, you are absent, you know, are you trying to hide something? Right, you know? right. So that's just one of the rules, you know, um, it can be quite stringent, quite pretty drastic. I, well, this, this, this brings up another, another, another question. And again, this gets back to what you, what you have done, I guess, in the past and so with some of your work yes. with the sports athletes and so on. Um, yes. You know, when, 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 you, when, when, when these things come up, I'm assuming that you would do some work in, with the, the chemical compounds or chemical compositions or whatever and so on. But have you found that, that, that the requirements of the, of the anti-doping agencies are are is it is it is it too much? I mean, do, do they do they even make sense? Um, yeah, with water, I think water has rules which are imperfect, right? I mean, some other rules are going to be viewed as subjective, such as it's marijuana one. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, I think they are trying to keep the sports um, free from undue influences. Um, uh, so, because it's imperfect, there are some cases where I think they get it wrong. And I'll comment in particular on the case a couple of years ago um, with Ewan Blake, et cetera, where when the guys were taking a supplement and there was a substance found within the supplement, okay. um, which came from a plant, or a plant called a geranium plant. Okay. Um, now, athletes tended to take lots of things, you know. I mean, sometimes they repeat mega doses of vitamins and anything that they think can make them train okay. a little harder. Right, right, right. Yeah. So this substance was found and it was not on the water list. Right. But water had a catch all phrase, and the phrase says, you know, this compound, they had a particular compound, and they say, this compound or any of its what they call isomers. Right. Isomers are, they say cousins, you know, right. any of its cousins. So, in other words, I know what this one does. I don't know what its cousin does, but if you're found with a cousin in your body, you are also going to be. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, no, that, that creates a big, a major, major issue because the difference in chemical properties begins the compound that you know right. and its cousins. And that particular compound had like about 80 different cousins, you know? <laughs> and there was no, right. yeah, there was no testing. Nobody knew what it did. And I, I thought that was unfair because you can't ban me for s something which you don't know what. Right, you don't know what it is. You say, well, it could be something. So you, don't even, you didn't even go and do a study. You didn't right. even study. And so I did a little bit of research on it, and I found that it was very poorly studied. Right. And and in fact, the only reference to athletics is decreased performance. Oh, and right. I'm like, you know. For somebody to lose their their reputation, right. and in the case in the case of somebody like Anesta Carter, who ran a relay with Bolt many years ago and lost his gold medal and Bolt as well, yes, I for them to be banned, lose their medal of something which you have not studied, don't know what it does. Is it's I thought that was really harsh. That's experience, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I thought it was really harsh. At the very least, you should say to me. This is what this does is why I'm banning it. You can't say, well, it resembles your cousin. So I, you know. I, yeah, pretty much. Exactly. I, yeah. I'm banning it anyway, you know. <laughs> it you, just you, does you, not. Say, you say you, you, they, they try not to have any undue influence. The undue influence comes from other countries. That's why cannabis is on the list in the first place. Um, <laughs> and it comes from countries like that. And I'm, and I'm sure that Jamaica was somewhere in the in the, re, the reason as well. Yeah, the Jamaican lab. They spoke a lot of the guy. Just so let's make sure that's on the list. Definitely. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's how they got that. Um, <laughs> Yes, I don't yeah, know. So, so, that's what I think about water, you know. Um, well, they I, are relatively new. The they're also a relatively new entity, aren't they? They're, they're, they're just, just yeah. a few years old. So they're... I mean, they're 2000, 2004, around. Yeah, that's not even... Yeah. Um, before that, 
you had like local entities and different right, sports okay. had different rules. Right. And so one of the there's something I referenced in the article. This this guy from Canada who was a snowboarder. Right, right on. I saw him from the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost his medal um, in the um, the, the late nineties. Right, I remember uh, that. that was one of the first medal. ones. And, yeah. they, and they said, "Hey, this thing is not in the list. Why are you banning?" That's right. That's medal? right. That's right. That's like that was the first year that they had let that they let that snowboarding in in the in the in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, "Please give him back his." his, his, his I, I'm trying to remember the year. You know, they said, "Please give him back his medal." Right. You know, um, it was 1988. Eight, eight, yeah. Eight, 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 and then when water came, you know, as a world anti-doping agency, they said, "Well, you know, all sports, you know, this is going to be banned across the board." Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. When somebody like Phelps came along and. Uh, from what I from what I read, you know, Phelps was just posing with a ganja pipe. <laughs> I think with the bong. Really I think I think that was I, there was a. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if there was testing and stuff was found, but I think yeah, I do remember there was a picture of a bong with a bong. Yeah, I, remember that. I don't recall there being any testing actually. Okay, I don't even know. Yeah, they said it, it was the image was bad, you know. So right. Oh goodness! Wow, but uh, that's, so, that's 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 a bit that's a bit incorrigible. I'm an athlete, athlete in my own right, and I have to live by your rules. Your rules didn't get me to where the hell I am. What the, you know, it's not, this is not, you're training me. You're not helping. I'm making, I'm bringing you money. You know what I mean? You know, I, that's, yeah. that's a really weird, that's a really, really weird and bizarre compromise in the situation that these athletes have to put themselves into at the yeah. behest yeah. of this, yeah. of this billion dollar entity that's making money off of their, off of these great athletes' names. Um, and these athletes yeah. have these, you know, that's, that is, it's quite perturbing. In fact, the, 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 the battle continues. And what, what's, and what's your take on cannabis consumption in general? Uh, cannabis consumption. Um, I would say with caution because I, I don't know enough about it. I mean, as a Jamaican, you grew up hearing all sorts of things, you know. Oh, it's it, it's more, more than yeah. black because you know it's bad. We're mad, you. Um, but because I'm a scientist, then I I tend not to have these sort of um, emotional reactions okay. um, to. to Compounds. I'm like, okay, this is a compound A. What does it do? Um, okay, in what quantity does it do this? I mean, to who does it do this? Um, so that is really all is my take. And I have a couple of colleagues. Um, you know, I've, I've looked at some of their work and they have done work on cannabis, cannabinoids for ages. So for them, they don't look at it as a drug, negative or positive. They look like, this is a compound, this is what it does. To me, I think that it should be the way the way forward. Um, no, but you know something though, we are so ruled by emotions as 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 human beings. Um, if that's abundantly, like, yeah, that, that's abundantly clear from the water. You know, their their yeah. their whole wording of their whole mandate. But I'm sorry, carry on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if, if you think of something like even um, cocaine. Yeah. Um, it's found naturally in nature, you know. That's it, the coca but, leaf. But, but it's such a small amount that people always chew the coca leaves and it gives them a little bit of energy, feeling of well-being. But when you mess with that and you start to like, produce it in mass quantities, so, you know, the amount you're getting, you'd have to, to chew a whole farm. Right, right. Then, on, yeah. then you, you started messing with the natural I, I um, yeah, availability of the thing. I mean, it's, it, it even goes to something like, Processed sugars, you know. Normally, you'd have to eat what uh, twenty sugar cane to get the amount of sugar which <laughs> you have eat, right? Okay. <laughs> but somebody yeah. went and extracted it and put it, uh, put it in into, into a teaspoon uh, granulated sugar. So, uh, uh, so, so my thing about cannabis is that there's a lot to be. Studied. I mean, it has hundreds of compounds in there. So I think they should be studied. Um, clearly, there's a lot there for pain relief. Um, nausea. Um, there's things which improve your vision. We all know of can, uh, you know, um, canasol and so on. Um, and so this is how I look at it. That what is in there to be studied, we should study it and use it wisely. Um, and what is in there which can be harmful, then you have to advise and teach people to say, hey, you need to avoid this or, you know, be careful, you know, make an informed decision. Um, 
because personally, I don't think banning stuff really works. You right, know, right, right. Right. Okay. and I think it drives it to the black market, and then you, 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 you know criminality exactly. and, 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 right. and, and, and 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 so I think just spend that money that you're going to use by crime and education. Right. right. You know, like with any drug or anything at all, any compound at all that you can consume, whether it's a, 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 a for medicine. Just teach people, like, you know, okay, let's, let me tell you what this can do, the good, and I'll also tell you about the bad. So what, yeah, what, so what about, your, yeah, what, what, what about mm-hmm. yourself? You, you say that, you know, the people should study this, this stuff and educate. What about yourself? Do you not have a, do you not see the, the profound, the complexities of the cannabis point and the different cannabis plants and different compounds and the terpenes and the, this and the, the different types of, of the CBDA, CBD, yeah. CBD, is that not? I mean, it's, to me, it's fascinating. Is that not something that you're delving and you'd be interested in delving? It is, you know. In fact, I've I've been I thought about it, um, but um, because I spend a lot of time not doing research, you know. So you know, more than reading and writing a little bit, um, and sort of in the energy field. Right. Okay. Um, the last time I did some good solid research was in trying to get. You know, some what well, well, it wasn't related to the cannabis at all, various different compounds for ADHD, HIV, gastrointestinal issues, all kind of things. Right. But I was um, having a conversation recently, and I'm like, this is it's actually a very fascinating field, very fascinating compound, and still developing, and, and still developing, my yeah, you know, yeah. And they're also, um, you know, um. Um, economic opportunities within there. So, you know, I'm looking at it and said, hmm, you know, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. All right, all right. Well, all right. I mean, uh, very interesting talking to you. Same here. Same here. It was a pleasure. No problem, man. Pleasure. All right, right on. All right. So, and, and I will send you links to when, when this comes up and all this, you can see it and you can share it. And, and yeah, like, yeah. Like this as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, have, have a great week and have a great one. All right, one love. You too. Take care. Take care, Mark. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you again.